So, I said, I know, is a team that you think highly of in many ways in terms of the way they play the game. What, what did you think this evening? Exactly the same. They went. Uh, they, 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 they were not scared to go uh, at the Parc des Princes and, and put pressure. They nearly succeeded, but like we always said, you know, details matter um, in uh, in the Champions League and. Mbappé had one early doors, let's all be honest, but after you, you couldn't see Paris going through that pressure, uh, although they tried at times, they couldn't, they couldn't do it. I just think that they, 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 they played exactly how they usually play. Possession went to, to Paris Saint-Germain, you can expect that as we saw before. Paris Saint-Germain usually have more possession than a lot of teams in the, in the Champions League. But having said that, it was them missing Oyar Zabal. I would have to say also it's a big miss for them. That's their goal scorer, that's the guy that gives the last assist, that's a bit of flair, uh, if you cannot. But they went their way, that's how they play. Uh, they live and die like that. But Jamie will explain it. When you concede a goal like they, like they concede on a set piece, it's, it's a tough one to swallow because you were in the game. And we will, I mean, Jamie will explain exactly how it happened. Do that, Jamie. Let's jump right into that one. Yeah, I mean, I, I felt for sort of Traore. He's the one who's marking Kylian Mbappé. That's his job on corners at the back post. He's just got to whack on the, the knee. So through no fault of his own, he's now got to go off the pitch to get treatment, which then means they're a man down. And he's actually marking Kylian Mbappé. Mm. And who scores the goal? Killing Mbappe. Now, it's not Paris Saint Germain's fault, but I do look at that and think that is something in the rules that for me doesn't quite feel right. When a play goes down, they're then at a disadvantage when a set piece is coming in. What would you rather see happen in that situation? Well, can we wait till, till he's okay? What's the play? Yeah, and it's not just saying because this ended up a, a goal, or, you know, could the defender maybe stay up if it's not too bad? Something. Mm -hmm. You've got to make sure it's still 11 v 11 on the pitch because that is a vital moment in the game. There is something also very important in that is that. Kubo ended up being that player. And if you have a guy in that defense, Kubo, Kubo shouldn't be with Mbappe on the second post. He thinks that this player is going to win the header. He's already thinking about the counter, which you cannot do that with Mbappe. And that's how they considered that first goal. And that's how suddenly now you're in trouble because you're going to have to go even more so and try to score that goal, which a 1-0. It's not a bad one. And then that, that they got caught, not on the counter, it was a, a well-built goal that arrived on, on, on Barcola on the left-hand side. And, and, uh, and then he went on to, to play a 1v1, which uh, actually a bad touch, sold the defender and then he went on to score. But that's how they went 1-0 one, one, one down. Man of the match in that game was none other than Kylian Mbappe. Oh. And he's been speaking after the game, listen in. Killian, congratulations. Two goals, a clean sheet, the man in the match trophy. That's pretty much the perfect evening, isn't it? Yeah, we are happy with the result. Uh, we wanted to win at home. Uh, it was the objective and, and we did it. Now uh, we have another game to play uh, before we have three or four games with the league. So we are happy now, but uh, the job is not done. And with the return leg to come in San Sebastian, how important is it to take a lead going into that tie? It's, it's really important always, always, uh, because uh, we know how tough it is to, to take the advantage in the Champions League. And now we did it and we have to keep going, to keep working like a team and, and we're going to be there for a win and, and to go to the quarter to the quarterfinal, sorry. Thank you very much, congratulations. Oh, well, Kylian Mbappe, we talked a lot about him in the pregame. We talked about what does his future look like over the next few months. Is he still at PSG next season? And I think widely the feeling in football is that he will no longer be at PSG next season, but rather at Real Madrid. But I guess that is a big question still. There's no confirmation officially of whether he will be going to Spain into Real Madrid. There's been talk of Liverpool, Jamie. There's been talk of him following in the, in the foots of another former French great and going to Arsenal. What? That's been mentioned. By who? Google it. It's been mentioned this week. Yeah. And all then I, you can apologise once you've Googled it. Micah. No, I meant now. I'd he, like him to English. say that it, it's there. Um, he's, he's, he's English. He's, what did you say, TT? Ahead of the game. He's ahead of the His game. His brain, off the field, on the field, he's everything English, about him. Spanish. He's just perfect. He's, what's, that, what's that face you're doing, Jamie? In the face of someone who's Kylian wrong. Mbappe wants Arsenal transfer to become the next Thierry Henry. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> where do you think he'll end up? I don't know, really. I don't know. I don't have those insights. <laughs> but where do you think? Do you have a, a, a hunch, an idea? No, I don't. I'm going to wait to see where he's going to go, like everybody. He's going to Madrid, isn't he? 
Would it be a good move for him, Micah, to go to Real Madrid? I mean, <laughs> look how many times uh, they win the European Cup, or the Champions League is what we call it mm. now. I, I mean, we're Vinicius. <laughs> with Vinicius, Rodrigo and Bellingham, putting Bappi into that as well. It's what? just delicious. What about your Man City? We've, we've got enough. We've got Doku, we've oh, got Greenwich. Really? Oh, you don't want Kylian Mbappe? I'm, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. So you said we've I, got enough. I, we've got enough. We, so you don't need them? Well, we're just world, world winners. With Euro winners. League winners. What more do you want? World winner. World cup, uh, cup, cup. What, what do you want? <laughs> what, what do you want from... World Cup winner. Yeah, he's... No, <laughs> you, you, know, you know how much I love Kylian. But I'm not going to disrespect you, any you of the players that Manchester You know if he did come to City, yes. right, where would he fit in? Off that left hand side. Instead of Jack? No, look at you. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not entertaining it. <laughs> the other goal scorer tonight for PSG was Bradley Barcola. Uh, you're going to do the honors and you're going to translate Ooh, let's his try, interview. Let's try, let's, let's try. C'est bon, Niva. Bradley, merci de venir à notre micro après Thank ce match. Thank you, Bradley, for coming after the game. You knew it was going to be your last, your last ball? Your last ball? Your last ball? No, honestly, I was uh, waiting to, to, get, uh, to get this opportunity. I didn't touch a lot of the ball. And I was waiting for this opportunity. So, when I had it, I took it. Your personal, when you mark a goal like this, it's your first goal in Champions League. What's that you've got to say? When you score a goal like that, it's important. It's your first in the Champions League. So, how did you feel after that? It's really incredible. 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 My family was there. Match, il a fallu en avoir. Est-ce que vous vous attendiez? J'imagine que oui. Vous avez préparé ce match-là. Ils ont été patients dans le jeu. Ils ont été patients. Vous attendiez évidemment à ce qu'elles viennent récupérer les ballons très haut. Very difficult. Moi, si on savait qu'ils avaient un, qu'ils pressaient bien. Now we knew they were going to be a team that was going to press really well, and that's true that they did it very well in the first half. But in the second half, the tempo of the game was a bit higher, and that's our way, and that's why we won the game. What a flex! Fifty percent of this table is nice. Well, I can speak what? Italian. <laughs> what can you speak? Italian. I can speak English. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bayern Munich um, haven't oh. lost a first leg in the round of 16 for 12 years. Uh, they lost that one 1 0 to Basel, won the second leg 7 0. Do you think we'll see a big comeback in this, in this second leg? <laughs> I actually don't know the situation that they are in. Having saying that, I think in, in, in the last 12 years, they only lost one time in the, in the round of 16, like knocked out mm. of it. So you will still back them because it's in three weeks, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot can happen in three weeks. They might be way better. I thought, and we said it at the beginning, that it's, I think it's the right time to play, to play Bayern. I don't know if it's going to be the same thing in three weeks. So I will still back them up to go through, but it will depend on what's going to happen uh, uh, in, in the next three weeks, because when Bayern Munich, you know, play two games without having a shot on target, three nil, one nil, it doesn't go down too well there. As you know, you live there. They don't, mm -hmm. they don't accept that well. 